we do have juice again um, I, yesterday I run the cables for the starter battery um, I did get the tank for the Honda Accord but we had a blizzard and everything got iced up it's all melted now of course but Friday I just wasn't going to bring that Honda in here so I've been working away at the wiring harness uh, I do have it all redone now I'm just trying to get it placed in there neatly so I'm about to pull the distributor and try to bolt it all down in the back on the bow housing and get it neatly there get everything placed I uh, went and picked up a black distributor cap yesterday and uh, tucked my wire harness in behind the fender for the headlights and stuff I still got to put the grounds on stuff like that but everything's in its rightful place uh, to my best of my knowledge right at the moment got that up underneath there I don't know if you can see that or not and I got to get another roll of the half inch loom just to finish this piece off because I don't have enough left to do that so uh, I put my negative ground on the block down there and I, I turned the battery around because this is a universal battery it's got side mounts on it too so I don't want to see those so I'm going to put the little caps in there and uh, I have a little battery block there that, or block there that holds the battery down I got to find that and clean that up but this is the wire out of the truck so I thought I'd put that in I had to re-bend this bracket which I got to drill another hole for a bolt this has to be painted this has to be cleaned up I thought that looked pretty neat in there plus the cables all that's sort of where they relaxed in uh, it is Sunday morning at 9 o'clock by the way um, say I've been cleaning up snow and trying to find parts and stuff little parts so I'll see if I can show you where I put the cable to the starter it goes up through there so it doesn't get pinched I'm gonna tie it probably to the frame right there if you can see that I'll just put a push on those push clamps in that hole right there that'll keep it from hitting anything get it out of the way and uh, what else did I do under here I'm gonna put this ground on the frame somewhere uh, get that hidden tucked out of the way. Ugh. Let me see what else. Uh, oh yeah, heater hoses. I got a 45 street owl, so that's gonna come out there, and I gotta go get a roll of uh, half inch heater hose. So when I got this, I got two rolls of three quarter. Uh, I I thought they were both the same size, but apparently one three quarter. And one's half inch so I want to run those over to the inner fender and then out there as neatly as I can so I'm just waiting till 10 o'clock I can go get another roll of that I just thought I'd turn the camera on and show you where I'm at and that's like I said I'm gonna pull that distributor and uh, so I can get down in behind the firewall because it's kind of in the way but uh, it is coming this is very slow process and I gotta gear something up let me see I get my light hanging here without breaking it Oops, like that good gosh uh, I'll be right back guys once I clean this mess up hey there's a blooper for you now if we don't drop the camera it's loose on the thing there anyways that's how things been going here Thank God for vacuum cleaners. Yeah, didn't scratch nothing. Didn't burn nothing. So we will 
a little white powder on there. Oh well, it wiped right off. <laughs> I'd edit that out, but I can't edit. So, but Matt, you're right. This thing is driving me mad. And uh, I don't know, I just can't stop on it now. Once I start it, just like I gotta paint all these pieces now and make them all shiny. So, I got my red shroud out there trying to clean that up. I took the torch to it and didn't help it a whole lot. So, but until I find a nice one. We'll just uh, shine this one up the best I can when I'm ready here to put it in, hopefully sometime today. Anyways, I'm going to turn the camera off here before I break anything else. And uh, that's why I have a hard time <laughs> to make videos on this stuff sometimes. So, but I want to get that wire and harness anchored down. And uh, i got to figure out where I'm going to get my power for my electric choke. Get that in and get this thing on top dead center again and get the shriveler back in with the new black cap and put this piece on it this is the best one i could find and I, I spent probably 20 minutes half an hour trying to clean this one up but until i find a good one this will have to do so i think that's going to look a lot better down in there plus it's lower than the red one so that's where i'm going to go with that so we'll be back here for the days up say another 40 minutes and I'll be able to go get my heater hose and get that out of the way so just one little thing at a time here it does drive you mad well guys this is what I come up with back here on the water and harness I used a couple of the uh, red hose clamps squished them down so they'd fit the harness and put them on the back of the transmission bolt on the bellhouse the only one I haven't figured out how to anchor yet is the one going to the alternator but I guess I gotta figure something out there and uh, these ones here go here and this one goes to the distributor cap so that's what I'm about to do I just brought it up to number one cylinder top dead center I mean and I got my red hoses mocked up there I'm not sure if I like them that way but uh, we'll see how it looks I just got some zip ties on there loosely um, nothing's tightened down yet just Cut the length, got that squared up there pretty good. Like I said this is the only wire I'm having trouble hiding. And I think after doing this, if once I do when I do the truck, I'm gonna do this all on the motor while it's out of the vehicle. And I should have probably done this before I put the fenders back on. Would have been a heck of a lot easier. So Anyway, I'll bring it back here as soon as I drop that distributor down in there and uh, get the black cap on, get the wires back on and go from there. See if I can get the red in, the red hoses on, see how they're going to fit up. They should fit up okay. And all I got left to do is the gas line and the transmission lines. I already have transmission lines made up, but they're kind of they're not very neat so I'm not even going to put them on because if I put them on I'll never change them so I'm going to wait until I get my tube bender and make new ones and uh, that way they'll be done and uh, I uh, got this neatened up and I put that ground on the red support down there and I put a ground strap from the block here to the firewall on the heater box it was supposed to go up here but I didn't want it up there so you could see it so I just tucked it underneath the heater box like that and uh, I put another one over here from the block to the frame because I watch a few videos on the wiring and they say you can't have too many grounds so putting lots of grounds in and I still gotta hook these two grounds up here so gotta do that before I put the red in and then uh, 
I don't know how many parts I have to take back off paint. It's a uh, just gotta fit it as you go. It's quite an aggravating job, but I want the I want the stuff to look pretty neat, so it's the best I'm, I can do. And I'm not sure about it right here either. Uh, that's gonna go in behind the brake booster, so I'm not sure there how that's gonna work out. But uh, we'll cross that bridge once I get the booster in. So, anyways, next one I should have the distributor back in. Okay, just line my little oil filter up, or that little oil pump shaft, that's what it is. Let me see that or not. Yeah, we're about to drop the distributor in. See how hard that goes down in there. There goes nothing. Looks like I'm breaking another bulb. so it doesn't jump back out. And we'll put the cap on. Hopefully I got a small screwdriver. I'm in underneath the engine bay in between the red support and the front of the engine is pretty tight but it's a lot easier than leaning over the side of the car. So Should have done the gas tank <laughs> on the accord. Oh well, next weekend. Well, next weekend on a Thursday night, I'm going to take it out to the car wash and get all the ice off it before I bring it in the garage. Because I know I'm going to get a flood flood in here. So yeah. Just a hood off. Come on, sit on there. You sitting on there, right? You feel right. Get back guys seems to be something holding it or something
should be my last ground. Now guys, there she is, everything fit. <laughs> um, no clamps, it's all got to come apart. Some of the pieces got to be repainted. Stuff like that, but it would run right now if I put fuel to it, but I can't. Because like I said, I got to hook up to make a new get, uh, line from the pump to the curb. And uh, tranny lines. Like you said, I got those already made, but they are a mess. So, I think, just give me an idea what they look like. Is uh, They got some weird, weird kinks and bends in them, so I'm going to remake those once I get that new tube bender. And uh, put them in right, or neat. There's the black distributor cap, which is not showing up. The only thing I don't like is those red caps on the wires. I don't like those. I don't know if I can put a marker on them and darken them up or not. Uh, but I might try something. And all the grounds are in. All I got to do is, once this is all cleaned up in here, I'll go back and put grease on the grease on them. So they don't rust around the ground and uh, down there. So that's it for this weekend. It is now 20 after 3. And I got to go get ready for work tomorrow. And hopefully next weekend I'll get that gas tank in. Get that over with. It kind of didn't hurt my feelings not to do it this weekend. But I got to do it. So... I gotta get one clip for the bottom of the, the shroud down that corner, but the fan goes around, doesn't hit, so that's a bonus. So it does fit in there good, and like I said, this piece here, I'm going to repaint later on. And uh, this here, uh, I'm going to leave that on there for now, but later on, I start going to get to the swap meets once it warms up, I'm going to get one of the, the chrome chrome ones for there I think that look really good and like I said I got some stuff I gotta take get new one of those and see if I need this might be able to get rid of that I'm not sure yet and uh, let's go from there anyways guys just uh sorry it's not running <laughs> I'd like to see it run too but uh, it is very close now very very close like I said it probably would fire up but I'd have uh, transmission fluid going everywhere and there's no fluid damn it and uh, I gotta drain the oil out change the oil in case I get dirt down in there and whatnot just little things now so but uh, I'm just gonna clean up here and call it a call it a weekend and hopefully we don't get no more snowstorms this week it's uh, windy out there today but it's cold but hopefully no more snow we've had enough don't want no more Anyways, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a good one. Take care.